What's going on, y'all? It is Real Labs on Real Radio. It is Thursday night. We are joining the virtual studio with me, your host, Ken Miller. I'm also joined by Miguel Colon, Junior Monsters in the Morning, Comedian of the Year from 2009 to 2020, because I, I, I could never remember the year. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> and then we're also joined in the studio by the host of The Lowdown and the original OG of this show, James John is here. What's going on, James? Oh man, you man, feeling pretty good. I ain't like you though. I ain't got a brand new car. Brand but I'm doing new all right. car, bro. I just went outside and checked to make sure it was okay. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. I got teenagers <laughs> in my neighborhood. I said, Y'all ain't about to steal my Corolla. You live in a gated <laughs> community, man. You, you live in a gated community, kid. Bruh, you, you know me, the- man. Come on, man. And we happen to have a, a, a guest in the virtual studio. From Jerry Maguire, from Mad TV, the man of a million voices. And he will be at the Orlando Improv this weekend, November 13th through the 15th. We got Aries Spears in the building. What's going All right. on, brother? Mm. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> hey, man. What's going on, How y'all man? Doing, man? We good, good. man. So, man, I'm what you good, been up brother. to for the past few months, man? We all been locked down. What you been up to? Uh, I'm kind of, I've been kind of like everybody else, you know, fighting this bug or trying not to get caught by it. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, trying to get in these jokes where I can, when I can. Amen. Cool. cool. Amen. I, I, every time we interview a comedian, man, I'm a big fan of the origin story. And I always like to know w- w- how long you've been doing comedy, when you get started, and how was your first ever set on stage? Whew. Uh, I've been doing it for 30 years. Um, Ooh, God I bless. started back in... Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. I started when I was 14, a la Dave Chappelle. Um, and my first, and you said the last question was, what was the first? Your first time on stage, man. How was it? How was it? Cause we had Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle Crawford said he murdered. He tore that thing up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, at first I tried to get in at the improv in New York and back then for open micers, you basically had to stand on a long line and then, uh, draw your name out of a hat. And yeah. if you were picked, then you got to get up and do five minutes of stand up. So both my mother, my sister and myself. We, we stood in line. We put my, our names in the hats. None of them got called, and I was still dejected. And uh, before I, I went home back to Jersey, a dude pulled my mother aside and said, you know, there's a comedy club called Uptown Comedy Cafe up in Harlem. So rather than just go home, you might be able to go up there and do some work. So we jumped on the train, went from New York to Harlem. I got on stage. I did my five minutes. I did well enough to let me know that I should keep going. Nice, nice, nice. Especially nice. if you're 14. You yeah, know what I mean, like 14. Yeah. Like, like, what is yeah. what? What did you have? To, what were you talking about at 14? I didn't. I didn't even have material uh, because at that point, I you know that that's too young and too inexperienced to know how to formulate yeah. a joke. Yeah. So Amen. I just went on stage and I did like I did three impressions. I did Jack Nicholson, Eddie Murphy, and James Brown doing a Pepsi commercial. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, it, it did what it did, and the audience liked it, and I was like, all right, I'm going to keep doing this. Aries, so- I've been watching you for a minute, bro, for a long time. I'm not a young man. Uh, I'm, I'm pushing 50. So I remember when you were doing Def Comedy Jam, man. How old were you when you did it? Uh, I was I was 16 when I did it with you Mark. You were young. And then the following yeah. year, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 16, and then I did Def, then I did Showtime at the Apollo with Sinbad the next year at 17. Brother, that's amazing. Man, that you, you was putting, you were putting, and, and and I know you said when you were 14, 14, you got on stage, you did impressions. Like, what, what is it? Somebody in your family that that you started doing their voice, or was it just always celebrities? Because impressions are hard. Like, I can't do a voice. Every if I do a Jamaican, it sounds Australian. Like yeah. all, my, <laughs> <laughs> all my impressions are Australian, bro. So, like, who was your first impression that you ever did? Was it a family member? Was it a celebrity? And, and why impressions? Like, how did you come about thinking, like, this is what I want to do? Well, I, well, I know a lot of people want to be able to do impressions, but I always say being an impressionist is like being a singer. You have to have an ear for tone, inflection, rhythm, because everybody's voice is a note. You know, like when you do Shaq, Shaq is all bass. You know, as long as I dominate when I'm playing the game and I dominate, I got 28 to 100 yeah. to 10, I'm going to dominate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, yeah. So, so <laughs> Versus versus somebody who might be a higher octave, like a Jay-Z. So my mother was a jazz singer, and, and she was like a world-renowned jazz singer. She, she actually used to open up and perform with Lionel Hampton. Now, I know a lot of this wow. young generation wouldn't know who that is, but he was truly one of the greatest jazz pioneers ever. 
And it, she actually had a photo of her singing at the White House performing in front of Reagan. So my mother's a jazz and blues singer. So growing up, I heard a lot of music growing up. But no matter how much music you hear, you still have to have the talent in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can hear so music, you can't I, sing. I think or yeah. 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 I've seen workout equipment my whole right, life. So I think, I think her- yeah. Well, that's a different thing. That's a yeah. desire. <laughs> you, you stupid. You, 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 you have a desire and want to do that. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I got to shout you out, Aries, because... A lot of people can do impressions. They can do it. They might. They may be able to get it down. But it's a gift to be able to do impressions and write a joke around that, a good joke. Because a lot of people just get up and just do the voice. You actually wrote good jokes around the impression. So my hat's off to you for that. Well, here's the thing. I'm an eight baby. I was born in '75, and coming up as an '80s baby, I came in that. Ed Pryor was not really my era. He was my dad's mm-hmm. era. But yeah. As a, as a real student of the game, you got to learn about a ball. Yeah. So Eddie Murphy was my guy. And I, like so many people back in the 80s, studied Eddie Murphy, SNL, watched him. And that's what I took from Eddie with Delirious. Like, it's one mm-hmm. thing to do the impression. To yes. do the joke with it is another beast. That's why, you know, I'm not going to throw shade on nobody. But there's a lot of guys who do impressions, but they jokes is whack. Or they yeah. jokes yeah. it up to par. So if you can somehow marry the two, that to me is a sign of of I don't genius. Is there Aries? Let me ask you this: Is there an impression you, you worked on forever but just never could get? You know, just somebody you always wanted to do that you just never felt you could nail. Obama, because I felt I felt like I felt like to kind of have our first black president, it was my civic duty to be able to imitate him. Right, and I just never feel I could get him. Like I got his cadence. Yeah, I know his cadence. But again, you got to marry the cadence and the voice. Sometimes people do impressions and you can tell the cadence is there, but the voice is not there or vice versa. Yeah. The voice Mm -hmm. is there, but the cadence is off. And I know, uh, you know, Barack Obama, uh, when I talk about my daughters, soft similar. I know that cadence, but but I never thought I had the voice Voice. as, as, as good as I wanted to have it. And my hat's off to you because a lot of people wouldn't let that stop them. They would do it even though it wasn't what it needed to be. It wouldn't be the bar was 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 high, but they would just do it anyway. Yeah, uh, I don't ever like to force anything. So if yeah. I really don't feel I can do it justice, I'll leave it the hell alone. And, 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 and listen, I'm envious of guys like Atheon Crockett and Jay Farrell because Atheon's Maya Angelou is ridiculous. His Chris Rock, Jay Farrell's Will Smith, his Kevin Hart, I wish I yeah. could do those dudes. I just can't. Got it. Cool, got guys, it. we got Ari Spears on. He will be at the Orlando Improv November 13th through the 15th. Two shows Fridays, two shows Saturday, one show Sunday. Go to ImprovOrlando.com for your tickets. So I'm, I'm on your Wikipedia and I'm looking at stuff. Bro, you was on Soul Train? <laughs> <laughs> but you were dancing? Yeah, you, I, uh, you was, you was dancing? Did you, do, did you do the scramble? I hosted twice. That's cool. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Nice. At one point in time, uh, Don Cornelius was getting a little too old to do it. So it started yeah, bringing that. celebrities to host. So mm-hmm. I was one of the guys that he brought in to host. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. And, and you were the second longest tenured actor on Mad TV. And how did Mad TV come about? Once upon a time <laughs> ago, Hollywood used to give out what was known as development deals. So if, mm-hmm. they, if, if, if they liked you and they wanted to work with you, they would basically pay you a truckload of money to take you off the market so no one else could get you. They don't do those no more. But back then, I had come to town and I was like, I remember D.L. Hewley was doing warm up for Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I was oh, wow. audience with the studio audience and he recognized me because we had worked together on a couple of shows. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to y'all a young man. Aries, come do five minutes of stand up. So I went up, I did wow. five minutes to stand up, and I remember Will Smith was literally standing, was looking like in awe. So word had spread out throughout town. There's this hot young new kid, uh, 16 years old, incredible median. And before I knew it, the first five years of my life in LA I went from holding deal to holding deal to holding deal, which is to say, I never developed anything show wise, but I would be with one holding deal with NBC, that would expire. Then ABC grabbed me up, that would expire. Then CBS grabbed me up. So before I was 21, 
I had made over a million dollars with nothing to Damn. pay for it. So my last deal ended up being with Fox and they wanted, yeah, so they wanted me on Mad TV season one, but I couldn't do it because I had already was locked in contract with Aaron Spelling to do a show called Cross Town Traffic, which was Base Squad. It, it never really developed past the pilot. The, the uh, head of Fox Network said, yo, I don't want you to leave the network. I want you here. So you know what? We'll just throw you on Mad TV since they wanted you anyway. And I got on on season three. That's dope. Nice, nice. Wow. Like I said, man, we got Aries Spears here, man. Aries is at the Orlando Improv, November 13th through the 15th, two shows. Um, Friday, two shows. Saturday, one show. Sunday. Aries, we got a, a few minutes left, man. What you got? What you got? Anything big coming up in the future for you? I know you're back on the road. You got any TV coming up, movies, anything in the works? Uh, you know, I'm really pushing my podcast really hard because I'm trying to knock on Jim's door and go ahead and move over. Um, <laughs> it's called Spears and Steinberg. The Jew and the Jerk. Uh, it's available <laughs> on all streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, Google Play. And I always tell people, look, man, just hit me up in my Instagram and my DMs and I'll personally send you the links. I need that support. Download it. Check it out. It's bananas, man. Cool, cool. Well, hey, brother, thank you so much for being on, man. Thank I'll, you, we'll, Aries. We'll, we'll, thank I'll come you, back brother. Begin and check you out. Aries Spears, November 13th to the 15th, two shows Friday. Well, before I go, before Saturday. I go. Go ahead, go ahead, blood, go ahead. Well, before I go, I, I want to ask you, baby, because I see you sip. What you sipping on? Crown. <laughs> I do crown apple, but this is regular crown tonight, brother. This I'm a whiskey. I'm a whiskey and cigar guy. You do cigars? Right. Isn't it nice when you can work from home? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Amen. man. Yeah, yeah. I don't cigars, but I got me some. I, I got me some. Tito, I got me some Tito's vodka and Seven Up. Ain't it nice? Bruh, when you work from home? Ooh, yeah, Tito's, and, Tito's and water nice. here, Aries. I'm hey. doing Tito's and water. Well, I ain't I'm got nothing to drink. I'm, I'm, I'm doing cocaine though. this weekend. I'm gonna swim by the hand pride this weekend. I have a drink with you, brother. Thank you. He said I'm doing cocaine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. Doing cocaine. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Thank you, Thanks man. Aries Spears, y'all. Hey, man. Me, appreciate man. Appreciate it. Ain't no problem, man. We're going to go appreciate to the brother. When we come back, <laughs> man. We're going to talk about celebrity birthdays and what's going on in the news. Thanks for tuning in to Real Labs. We'll be back after commercial break. Welcome back. It's Real Labs on Real Radio Thursday night, November the 12th. Um, I am joining the virtual studio. Mike Hurley here is back. Mike stepped out yeah. for the interview with Aries Spears. And shout out to Aries Spears, man. I appreciate you coming on. Aries will be at the Orlando Improv this weekend, the 13th through the 15th. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. And one show Sunday. He, the host, will be a, a local comic named Rick. Uh, I almost said it again, Ray Reyes. So please go check him out. And we're also joining the studio with Miguel Colon Jr. and Mr. James John. Um, celebrity birthdays, man. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We got Mrs. Ann Hathaway. Mm. Ooh. Ann Hathaway. Mm. Fine, birthday. in my opinion. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Fine. She Catwoman, right? What's she Catwoman? Cat Woman? Princess, yeah. Princess Diaries. Diaries. Princess yeah. Diaries. Yeah. I got another one that's just as fine as her, baby. Ryan Gosling's birthday. Woo, sexy man. Hey, Ryan no Gosling. What up? What up? You know he was a uh, he was so, he lived here in Orlando for in, real uh, yep, because he was in the Mickey Mouse Club. Bruh. Yeah, I, Bruh. yeah, he was good friends with Justin Timberlake. Back yeah, they were dogs. Yeah, yeah. And then it's, it's a video of Ryan Gosling pop locking. I'm yeah. like, is that Ryan Gosling got, getting down with it? I gotta tell you, man, that whole Notebook movie just put. It really let me know what level I'm willing to invest into a relationship. Because he came home, <laughs> went after his girl. She said no. So he went back and restored the house that they loved. Yep. And me, I'm like, if I ask you once, <laughs> you want to grab Darren sometime? <laughs> and you say no. And I see you six months later and go, hey, you want to grab Darren? You say no again. I'm like, we're done. That's yeah. It. Yeah. It's, hey, you know, you, it's one of my top five movies. You know, it's he's legit a, one of my top five movies. Oh, dude. I've never if seen it. Known, known, I've heard it's good. I've heard yeah. it's good. He's gotten tattoo. Look at he's got a notebook tattooed on hey, his back, you man. Know, you know what he's in, too? He's, uh, remember the Titans? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. He was yeah. the one that was trying to be cool with the black kids, right? Yeah. And then that's he kept trying to go to the locker room, trying to go he, to I'm pretty sure they were like, all right, Ryan, we need mm -hmm. you to be this mean racist. He's like, got it. And he got mm -hmm. in there. He's like, I like black people. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, he do, didn't he do Driver, too, where he had the jacket? Yeah, he was great. The, yeah. yeah, no that lines, though. No lines, though, yeah. right? Like, he was quiet for the whole movie. Yeah. He was in a really, really uh, gory movie called Only God Forgives. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys ever seen it. It's uh, based over in Thailand. His brother gets killed, and he wants revenge on the cop who did it. It's it's insane. It's dark as hell, though, but it's a can good you, movie. Can you imagine this? 
Ryan Gosling and Justin Timberlake. I know they were roommates. I can't remember whose parents. I think it was Justin Timberlake's parents because I think Gosling might be Canadian. I, I could be off. But I think one of them's parents moved to Orlando. Yep, Canadian. Yeah, so, he was yeah. London, Canada. Yep. Yeah, and so Ryan Gosling lived with Timberlake. Can you imagine the you're not going to get ass Mickey Mouse Club compared to Justin Timberlake and Ryan Gosling kicking it? Like, you mm -hmm. think you're cool in the Mickey Mouse Club. like, my name's Alvin. I sing a little bit. And then young Ryan Gosling and Justin Timberlake come in popping and locking, singing, mm -hmm. dancing. They mm -hmm. cleaned up. I think there's at least 17 illegitimate Orlando babies. Yo, that kid look like Ryan Gosling. Yeah. They look yeah. absolutely gorgeous and sing like yeah. an angel. Oh, my God. Did you know he was – you remember the adventures of uh, Hercules with Kevin Sorbo? Yeah, he yeah. was young Hercules. Ryan, yeah, yeah Ryan Gosling, young, yeah, Hercules. young Hercules. I never knew that. I, knew yeah, that. I used to watch it. I'm looking at his Wikipedia too. I'm like, okay, so he played mm -hmm. Neil Armstrong. He was he was in the last Blade Runner movie. La La mm -hmm. Land was good. The Nice Guys. Gang nice I like Gangster was Squad. Good. Gangster Squad was good. Yeah, Drive. Yeah, Gangster was Squad was the one I was thinking yeah. of. He was yeah. good in that. Sean yeah. Penn and yeah. uh, Russell Crazy Crow. Stupid yeah. Love was good too. I like that movie too. That was a good one. And Crazy Sexy Boston. Love was great. Yeah. He used to make, uh, remember, that's when Murder by Numbers with um, yeah, they they oh god, what's her Sandra name? Bullock. Sandra oh, Bullock. Yeah, no, yeah, it was and the nice guys, the nice and guys, the nice guys, guys yeah, which is exactly with yeah. Russell Crowe. La La got, Land got him a lot of good reviews, right? Never yeah. saw La La Land either, man. Heard heard nice. I've things. never seen it either, man. So we also got I, a I basketball birthday, it. man. Russell Westbrook. What's, oh, oh, screw oh, that. Let's go. Let's go back talk about Gosling. He's so attractive. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> let's keep it going though, man. It's <laughs> no, Omar, no. It's, it's it's Omarion's birthday from Beach Omarion. Okay. What movie was Omarion in? Oh, uh, dude, you know um the dance movie, y'all. Yeah, uh, is it called Dance Movie? No, 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 it's no, 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 no. Dance it's movie called. was dance movie was the you got served. You, you got, got served. served. You got served. You got served. That's oh, right. y'all gonna love this birthday though. Mm -hmm. Tanya Harding. Ooh, hey, she Yo. a winner in my book, man. Yeah, Tanya the movie Harding's about birthday. her, Tanya, was really good. I remember Margot Robbie um, was in it. What was her mm -hmm. bodyguard's name? I can't remember that dude's name now. The one the who guy with the, the lead whooping. pipe. Yeah. That's just that's that's badass though. When that's you think gangster about, stuff, right? Yeah, there. it's like how are we gonna win this Olympic game? Practice? <laughs> nah. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, Hard work will take you so far. Soft knee caps will yeah. take you farther. It's true. I, now this guy, I'm about to tell you. Now I just saw his face, and I'm like, he. Why does he look so familiar? He is. Um, y'all know Wallace Shawn. Yeah, man, he's uh, yeah. from a uh, uh, Princess Bride. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. his birthday. It's his birthday. Oh, well. he, he passed away, yeah. I think, though. Yeah, I'm looking at him, yo. I'm like, no, nah, he's still alive. He's still alive. Yeah, yeah. he's still alive. Yeah, I'm looking at, at him. I'm like, he, yo, this dude. He was familiar. at MegaCon. Like no, two you're years confusing ago. his life with his career. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he was. Oh, no, he does a lot of voiceovers. I'm stuff. joking. I'm if joking. You ever get a chance? It's a movie that uh, you're not gonna think is that great, but it really is. It's, it's uh, my dinner with Andre. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a whole movie. It just takes place at a dinner table with Wallace Shaw and I forget the other dude, and they're just having conversations. But the dialogue is so dope. It's it's like mm -hmm. Tarantino, two guys in a car style dialogue. You know, Quentin Tarantino oh, like puts it. two actors in a car oh. talking. Their, their yeah. dialogue is going to be great. And of course, Wallace Shaw, voice of uh, guess who from Toy Story. You guys mm -hmm. know this. No, which one's he? From the Toy dinosaur. Story? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh dinosaur. yeah, the T. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The dinosaur. Hey, man, I know this. It's also Sammy Sosa's birthday. Sammy hey. Sosa. Hey. Yeah, he, he, he is slowly making his way to Caucasian. I yeah. get oh, yeah. 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 it. Like the, yeah. It's his eighth Panther. Caucasian birthday. How do you celebrate? Mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, mayonnaise. I'm 46 black, eight Caucasian. That's where yeah. I'm at right now. Yeah. Oh, man. I, like, I like how people are like, I can't believe Sammy Sosa's dying his skin. And I'm like, yeah, man, because I mean, everybody knows the darker you are, the easier life is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And final birthday is one of my favorite R&B singers of all time, who took me through my high school years, and I used to play these songs for every girl in high school. Tevin Kenny Campbell. G. It oh, is Tevin, Tevin Campbell, Campbell. Campbell. Right, Tevin right. Campbell's Tevin Campbell. Tevin Campbell's birthday. Greatest, greatest. What, what was Tevin Campbell's greatest movie role? Bro, you know, um, the the the. Prince. the the do Prince the goofy movie, movie. The, goofy goofy movie. movie. Goofy. the goofy, goofy movie power line he was yeah. power line bro he was that power line baby and today is and and this day is special for me cuz i'm gonna go ahead and, and throw the toast up if y'all don't mind mm -hmm. today is national happy hour day nice it is it is 
Cop we're, we're about two hours past it right now. No, no, it's not. not I'm the always Coast, five to seven. Half hour, man. Five not in the West seven. Coast, two baby. for ones. Oh, two for ones, man. all wells and domestic drafts. So I, I missed the show yesterday with well, the beginning of the show. And I don't know if we got a chance. Did we get a chance to talk about Alex Trebek passing away? No, we no, have I, not. No, yeah, we didn't man. mention it. No, Dude, we, that, we figured we don't mention it. It didn't happen. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. This this has been a crazy year. We lost Alex Trebek, Sean Connery, Kobe. Sean Connery. Like, it, like, Suck a Trebek. It, it, Suck it. This is, like, I believe you do. Like, when it comes to team, when it comes to game shows, I, I mm-hmm. would say Jeopardy was probably my favorite, even though I only got like one question right. Mm. Second would be Will of Fortune. Will nah. of Fortune would be my my second favorite, and then my third favorite. I'm going to say Family Feud now because mm-hmm. I think Steve Harvey makes it so funny. So Hurley, he man, give me your top three, your top you, three game there, shows. There's no need to go down three. You were What's wrong. All three were. Price is right, man. Price is right is the stay home, you're sick, you're drinking yeah. ginger ale and eating crackers and betting on like how much tuna fish costs. Yeah, and right. I love it because it was the most gangster show and the fact that there was always going to be that one person that just put one dollar above the yeah, highest yeah, bid yeah, and you yeah. weren't allowed to smack that guy. Yeah, and you got to say it was L.A. tuna prices too. So yeah, you know, tuna, LA, like, the tuna's nine ninety nine. You're like, what grocery store y'all shopping? At? I always wanted to see that show played by somebody who works in government finance and hospital billing, just yeah. to be like, uh, what we have here is a hammer. How much for the hammer? Uh, that's going to be twelve thousand five hundred dollars. That's <laughs> twelve thousand five hundred. Somebody just whispers in their ear. Yeah, we're going we're to need some extra money for some stealth parts. <laughs> Thirty-six thousand dollars for the hammer. Uh, yeah. Mike, yeah. What was your favorite game on there? What was your favorite game on, on, on Price Is Right? Oh man, I like the Plinko chips. Oh, but there's no, there's no like I feel like there's, there's no skill. No skill at Plinko, yeah. No, there, there is, there is a little bit. You can, I imagine there's a guy that sat in a trailer, kind of like what was that game? No whammies, no whammies, no. Oh, whammies. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's your luck. my number one. Press your, your luck. That's my number one. You ever one. see that documentary about the guy who just sat there studying the flashing sequence? Yeah. So when he went on, he swept everything because yeah. he knew if this box lit up. By the time he hit the plunger, it would get to here. So he's claiming all the prizes. It was it was ridiculous, and they Mike, couldn't th- stop him. There's I another guy. I've never seen that. There's another guy oh. who realized that the Price is Right rotated mm-hmm. the same items all the time. Yep. So he so memorized he, the prices. He memorized the prices of all the items because they mm-hmm. only use the same items. Yep. Sponsors yep. items, and I then hate he got the both the prices of that. Yeah, you, you hate the 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 is always the weird stuff. part. The, the, mm-hmm. Well, I hate the ones, the weird ones. Like you win a year's supply of rice aroni. Like it was just like, like nutty stuff right, you yeah. never use. Yeah. My mom would be the the yodel one. Remember the I yodel almost guy? said the yodel one. The yodel one? guy. Yeah. Yodel, yodel guy was that's my, that's my yodel because it just it, that's the one that sticks yodel out of that your head. head. That's the one that yeah. just, it sticks out of your yeah. head, man. So Miguel, yo, what's your show? You give me your three. Favorite, give me your top three, brother. I tell you, I tell you, my top three. Uh, one was Pressure Luck, of course. Big bucks, big bucks, no way. Big bucks, no way. No way. Uh, I I loved Let's Make a Deal. That was like, yes. that, that one. That and that one. I only watched like Nick at Night, and then for a little bit when it came back. So it's mm. weird. And then my third one. Supermarket sweep, man. Oh, oh you know, I have oh. never watched that show. Oh, uh, your girl Leslie, never Jones. Watched, Leslie Jones is Leslie hosting, Jones it, hosting now. it now. Yeah. I've never watched that show back in and ne- I've Ken, never it's, watched it's it. all the fun of a riot without the charges later on. Mm. You know, you're basically <laughs> running through a store, grabbing items, and at the end of it, at, this is like the big showdown. At the end of it, you get all these shopping carts. They count up how much the price of the stuff you bought is, and whoever has bought the or stolen basically the most amount of stuff wins. But you would see idiots like it's a real grocery store setup, you know, and somebody's like loading up with fruit, and I'm like, get the caviar, you freaking fool, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, James, what about you, man? You give me your top three, or you give me your favorite. Well, Mike said, uh, and Miguel both said, one of mine is uh, Pressure Luck. Great one. But I'm going to take it back to when I was a kid. And I'm going to say Double Dare is yeah. my number two. That was mm-hmm. a great one. I love that. We watched yeah. that as kids. And we were like, man, if I was on that show, I would do this. And I was like, bro, I was like, I was like always overweight. So I know I was lying. But anyway, I love that <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Number, number one for me, because I just remember watching it with my grandma. And I loved her so much. And we would have fun playing it, was The Pyramid. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. About the pyramid. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pyramid. You, you gotta and, and watch. I'm, there's a there's go a video with two guys that you could tell grew up or with each other, and they're playing pyramid, and it mm. is great because you know on pyramid, like let's say the card would be a Ford Thunderbird, like that's the uh, that's the answer. Ford Thunderbird. Mm. You're like, uh, it's a car. Uh, it's mm. made in Detroit. But when these guys are playing it, it's like Ford Thunderbird. They're like, 
Gina Mancielli's father had one of these in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one where it's like, it's, I think, I think the thing is Russian vodka. He's like, you can never give this to Stevie. And he's like, vodka, but from Russia. Yeah. They're like, goom. <laughs> you know, you know what else I like? I like the newlywed game, but very specifically, Ooh, yeah. it had to be the 1970s version because yeah. the wardrobe, when you got yeah. like those new couples, but they had like the huge collars on yeah. their shirt. Collar. The and it wasn't a good show until you saw a, a wife turn and take the card with her answer and start whacking the guy for yeah. having the wrong answer like you know which one of you uh, is more likely to be grumpy in the morning and yeah. he puts her and then all heck breaks loose, you know? there's there's one that i really liked because it had to do with drawing and i love drawing Ooh. you guys remember win lose or draw yeah yeah, yeah. Mark, yeah. Mark, Mark, skippy skippy hosted yeah. The second hosted the teens or kids yeah, yeah. yeah. i love yeah. that show man just because it had to do with uh drawing and i was like man i could win this game if they just let me on it I you know, know what? Though, here's the deal. The better of an artist you were, there was a peak yeah. where you were too good of an artist for win, lose, yeah. draw. They were like, you no, dog, be, you draw like, Picasso's up in here. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like being a really good chef or being a really good sous chef. Yeah. If you're working at Applebee's, I just need a good sous chef. I need a guy. I need you quick. Quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. wants to be a millionaire was good, too, because it made a yeah. like all of us could be like, wait a minute. I, I get to pull the audience. I get to call a friend like yeah, any yeah. of us could make it. And they always give you the first four questions. Like yeah. the worst thing of who wants to be a millionaire is seeing someone miss that first first mm -hmm. question question. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. and then when I watched Slumdog Millionaire, I got to rewatch that movie. But that that would be me on who wants to be a billionaire. I can only answer questions relatable to my life. My life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also well, like the weakest link back in the day. The weakest link. I was about to say that. I was about to say the weakest link. Yeah, I was about to say the weakest link. I was I was looking up right now the top ten game shows that are out right now. Mm -hmm. So number ten is Match Game, which I didn't even know was still it's coming still on. Still out. Mm -hmm. It's still out, and which is hosted by Alec Baldwin. Um, the thousand dollar pyramid is number nine, which will be hosted by um. Um, the cat with the gap in his teeth, Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan. Mm -hmm. um, Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Is a still around? Is, it's still around. It's hosted by John Cena. That's what's mm -hmm. uh, oh, number okay, seven so no. is Let's Make a Deal, which is hosted by Wayne Brady. Now, mm -hmm. um, Deal or No Deal, which is hosted by Harry Mandel. Uh, I Harry like Mandel, Deal or No Deal. Number yeah. six. I like that too. Yeah. Number five is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? But I don't know who this host is. Meredith. Mm -hmm. Is the, the picture they have isn't her? But I think you're right, James. I think it is her now. Um, mm -hmm. Will of Fortune, you know, is Pat Sajak's Pat Sajak, four. Number three, Mike is your show. The Price is Right. Woo -woo! Um, number two is Jeopardy. Rest in peace, Alex Trebek. And number one, Steve Harvey's Family Feud. His uh, I always wanted to go on Family Feud with my homeboys growing up, not my family. I know. I think yeah. it'd be dope if the four of us and somebody else can That's go. That's why I would feud. love to be on Family Feud yeah. with like uh, with all of us, and then some young comic that we could always berate, and make it seem like he or she's the reason we lost. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> so, uh, when number you one, Bob the beach was juice. there. Yeah, pickle, pickle juice. juice. Yeah, I'm like, I'm fight you, bro. Yeah. Real quick, speaking of Steve Harvey, have y'all heard Godfrey's impression of Steve Harvey? I yeah, did, but we can go to that after commercial because we got to hit go. Ahead. So when we come back, we'll talk about Godfrey's impression and impersonation about um, Steve Harvey, and then um, I'm just gonna make up some topics when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> We're back, real laughs on real radio. It is Thursday night, November the 12th. I'm joining Virtual Studio with James John, Gail Colon Jr., and Michael Hurley. He, um, we had Aries Spears on earlier, and Aries does in per. In, impersonations and james was talking about uh, uh um uh, who was it godfrey god steve harvey he has an Man. impersonation of, of steve harvey that's uh, dead yuck, on the yuck yuck, 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 yuck i don't know where or who got this here coffee yeah. <laughs> bro it's he said it's, it's he hysterical like, it's, he said, and survey says bananas he said name name a meat you like and the dude be like bananas boy <laughs> and you know, say, a yuck, a yuck, a yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah, Yo, he said, I done had all kinds of coffees. Latte. He said, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, his best one to me, he did Richard Pryor. Yes. But, but he did Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, I, I don't know if you guys know, his daughter does comedy, Rain Pryor. Rain Pryor. Yeah, and he has a son who does comedy, too. And I don't know if he's Richard Pryor Jr. or what his name, but he looks just like his dad. Like I've only seen... No I've only he seen his scene, his son get booed off stage at the Apollo. So that's the one. That's the one. That's the one, okay. Mike. So he gets booed off, and um, and and Godfrey goes in this ten minute rant as Richard Pryor, like, boy, you you got my looks, but you couldn't get no damn jokes. Ain't nobody in my family. <laughs> everybody in my family want to be a comedian. Don't y'all know none of y'all want to be doctors? None of y'all. 
bro, he destroyed this kid, but he was Richard Pryor for I'm um, dude, it like he his Richard, his Steve Harvey, they're like two of spot on impersonations yes. that I have ever heard. heard. Like I ever heard, bro. Like they're they're amazing. But my favorite, and I'm biased, is always gonna be Pat Garrity. Uh Pat well, Garrity. you know, funny He's story. Pat Garrity is the one Godfrey in an interview when the family guy was the big thing. They were asking him how he came about his family guy impersonations. And he's like, it was actually an opening act of mine, Pat Garrity, that helped me with my family guy impersonations because I was having problems with Stewie again, the voice down for Stewie. And uh, he's like, this guy I was working with Pat Garrity. He was opening for me, did great impressions and everything. And he's like, with with Stewie, it's you got to find that starting off point. And it yeah. was always Brian. He's Brian. Brian. Yeah. And he's like, and once yeah. he told me that, He's like, I was off and running. So I was like, oh, my God. It's it's nice when you see someone that yeah. high up give a shout out. To yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. When, it, when, it first, when it first happened, we brought it up on the show because it's such a big deal to me, man. Yeah. And, I, and, mm-hmm. I, and I try to post it everywhere because Pat Garrity is one of those guys like Aries. He not only can do dead on impression, like he does the best Christopher Walken we've ever heard. I know a lot of people yeah. do it, but Christopher no one Walken, does, does it with the lift joke. And no one does the intonation like gets yeah. real quiet like he does. Yeah. Yeah. And he actually had a Kev, he had a, uh, what's his name? Kevin Nick Pollock. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He had a walking off with Kevin Pollock, who's famous yeah, for doing it. Yeah. Case, Kevin too, Pollock right? said, you won. He yeah. did it that oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Pollock won. Kevin worked with Walken. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of us, when it comes to impressions, there's like that 65, 70% point that you're like, that's good. And then there's guys like Pat who get it to the 99. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and, and when you don't yeah. hear, when you only hear the 65, 70% impression, you think that's it. You're like, they nailed yeah. it. Until the person who gets that 99 does it. And you're like, wow, that's uh, the difference. Pat Garrity does a Nicolas Cage impersonation that until I saw Pat Garrity do a Nicolas Cage impersonation, yeah. I didn't know you could do a Nicolas Cage impersonation. <laughs> yeah. And he does oh. it so well. But I started out in South Florida doing a lot of open mics. I remember going up at an open mic at one point, and the five comics before me had all done like Christopher Walken impersonations. And I just went up. I'm like, here's my impersonation of Christopher Walken watching the last six guys do Christopher Walken impersonations. Uh, That don't sound like me. (laughs) 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 That's just so bad, man. People start to do... They start to do caricatures of yeah. the person, not yeah. an actual yeah. impression. Yeah. But what like I, the, I hear so many bad Trump impressions. It ain't oh, even yeah. Trump. I think it, the worst it, it, one it, of comedians that always did was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Comedians, yeah. So, I'm telling you, every to the point where I did a show one time, and Lisa Carrera was was telling, she was trying, she was teaching a class afterwards after the show, mm-hmm. and she was telling people one no no is don't do Arnold Schwarzenegger. Cause everybody do it. Yeah, <laughs> everybody. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like, is it good to the chopper? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Chop. you know, get down, get down, get down some more. Yeah. But, but when you were saying, James, when it comes to impressions, when he talked about with Stewie, he goes, he's Brian, Brian, Brian. Yeah. You have to start with what's popular with them. So I got it when people say get to the chopper, or when mm-hmm. when a comedian can do Kevin Hart, be like, oh my god, yeah. and then they go into Kevin Hart because you know. You hear Kevin Hart saying, oh, my God, and then you go into the impression. You, you guys remember when we started out with some of the local comedy clubs, there was a guy that billed himself as the man of 3,000 voices, but oh. he only used like three. I and work with Here's him. the thing. If you got to sit there and say, hey, do you guys like Robert De Niro? Here's some Robert De Niro. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm Robert De Niro. Oh, yeah, do you guys yeah. like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Here's some Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hi, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know? It's, yeah. You're not if doing I, good if yeah, you got to tell, tell us who, you who the doing. impression is. Yeah, if I got to tell you who it is, uh, yeah, then it's not a hey, good impression. I'm gonna do Beyonce with a cold in the winter time. You can barely hear her. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. that's not. <laughs> this is Beyonce texting somebody with <laughs> <laughs> hey, a know, Birkin know, bag. You know, have you ever seen anybody impersonating Beyonce? I mm. haven't. No, I've seen because seen you get because you get so the beehive will kill you. That's why. Yeah. Talking about talking about uh, impressions. There's another thing too. Like you said, making caricatures of people. There's a there's a comedic actor that I love that he does caricatures of people that aren't really impressions, and that's Will Ferrell. When Will mm-hmm. Ferrell impersonates somebody, it's a caricature based on 
his like his George Bush. It doesn't sound yo, like George Bush, but it's yo, George Bushy. Like you like, I love this. <laughs> no, and, I, and, I love his Neil Diamond because he's Neil a racist Diamond. jackass. Racist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His Neil Diamond, his George Bush, his yeah. uh, Robert Goulet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> another one that he does that I love is when he does um oh um uh, uh, what's it called Harry Carey. From uh, oh, yeah. Harry, Harry, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, th- that's something I love too. When, uh, when instead of saying I'm going to do a voice that's dead on, you just make a wacky caricature of them based on perception, and that's mm. what he does with like George. His George Bush is based on our perception of George Bush, yeah. and and he makes this character that's hilarious. I love, I love the strategy with George Bush. The st- 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 strategy, is always my favorite. Yeah. And then, and then when he did, he did the announcement at a Shoney's right after uh, Os- uh, Osama bin Laden had been killed, and 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 uh, Barack Obama had made the address, the historic address that uh, SEAL Team Six had killed him, and uh, <laughs> just Will Ferrell comes out as George W. Bush at a Shoney's, and he's talking about how the gopher <laughs> that's been terrorizing his yard has been killed, and then at the end, one of the Secret <laughs> Service agents whispers in his ear, he's like. And they got a, 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 a Bin Laden too. He's like, what a, he's <laughs> like, day. What, a, what a day for everyone. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's, that's it's funny, funny too. How the guys who do the voices in their head, like we were talking about starting off points, <laughs> Frank Caliando, who I've seen a yeah. couple of times, Man, he's doing he's a, a lot of stuff. Too. He's doing a lot of stuff on TikTok now, but he's like, here's how I do some of my impressions. He's like, sometimes I start with Yogi the Bear. If you take Yogi the Bear and just take him up a pitch, now you got John C. Riley. So now you got John C. Riley. And if you take John C. Riley, throw in a little bit of crackly New Yorker along with some profanity, now you got Mark Ruffalo. And when he was doing it, it was, wow. he was dead on. Jo- Yogi Bear, John C. Riley, Mark Ruffalo. And the way he explained it, I'm like, that's exactly what you did. And now I Yo. can't get that out of my head. It's like, goofy. if you see that video, it's so good. We're gonna make I got to look it up. I got to look it up, man. But I think Yogi Bear might might have been all of our first impression. Because we, yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> we always did it. We always did it. It was cartoon. What? What? What's Shaggy? Zoink? Who, who is Zoinks? Zoinks. Shaggy. Yeah, the Shaggy. Yeah, like we, like mine, if mine was, was a cartoon, always, we could all do it. Mine was always, what's his name? The the gay cat. Uh, Hexen Stagglepuss. Yeah. Yeah, Stagglepuss. Yeah. Thanks, man. Bro, ain't gay, man. Uh, Thanks, gay, gay. Uh, man. He is Southern Gentile, sir. Yeah, this man. He's like even. the Pink Panther with a bow tie. Yeah. Hey, Boo Boo, <laughs> you want to come with me? We can go out to the back and talk uh, about things. <laughs> All right, how You're about so it, man? Cute, Ranger, how, what's uh, the Foghorn? You can do Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see, I see, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Like, like we had, car- like we knew how to do them. Yeah. That was our cartoon. But you ever notice they never had Foghorn Leghorn saying the word vinegar because he stuttered? Oh, I'll say, I'll say, vinegar, vinegar, I don't want to, I don't want to read that line. Vinegar sound like, hey, vinegar sound like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? We listen to the soy sauce. Yeah, we listen to Foghorn Leghorn and we laugh. James, your grandparents hear him talking, they start shaking. You know? yeah. <laughs> hey, I, man. Say, I say, I say now. So we were talking about since we got on the subject of Saturday Night Live and politicians. Let's go down the list of who's played who. So we know that um, Will Ferrell's George George W. Bush. Yeah, George Dana W. Carby Bush with George Senior. George Senior. Uh, yeah. Jason Sudeikis played Joe Biden. Once. He played him great too. He, he played Joe Biden. Scranton. Uh, of course, we know America. Alec Baldwin was Trump. Um, he did a great was, uh, job. Jim, too. Carrey, Jim Carrey's playing Biden now. Yeah, Jim Carrey's playing Biden now. Did you see him the other night when he brought yeah. back the loser? He really yeah. just looks like, like an unburned. Ooh, his his Biden looks like an unburned fire marshal. Bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody, somebody said that on Twitter. Like, yo, is this fire marshal Bill after he got reconstructive surgery? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, what's um, his name? Uh, uh, passed away. Uh, oh man. Oh no, 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 I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Who's the guy who plays Sean Connery on SNL all the time? That was Hammond, wasn't Hammond. it? Yeah, yeah. He played. He played uh, Clinton all the time. Okay, and yeah. didn't they have Fred Arson as Hammond. Obama, or who did they have? Fred Arson Obama. played Obama. Obama. And then, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got Kate McKinnon he, played Hillary. Yeah, yeah, she did a great job. Um, um, she also played um, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. She was good too. Um, hey, Tina Fey hey, is Sarah hey. Palin. You, yeah. Tina Fey <laughs> looked just like Sarah Palin, looked bro. Just yeah. like Sarah Palin. Dude, yeah. dude, to the point where, remember, 
um, um, Sarah Palin came on Saturday yeah. Night Live. Yeah, yeah. What, what and they were like the they were like the twins from GI Joe. If one didn't yeah. have a scar on that side of the face, I wouldn't know who it was. What was it? Tomac and Z- Zaymar and, and uh, Tomac and Tomac, Tony Braxton and Tamar Braxton. Well, I Tamar Braxton. <laughs> All I know is if, if, if you left them outside, they change colors sometimes. Yeah. Right? Yo, it was funny because if you punch one in the stomach, the other the one other, felt it. Yeah. That was the Corsican brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Why did we focus on fighting both of them? Why be like find one of them you yeah, find one of them yeah yeah, yeah. amy then, polar paid hillary clinton once. yeah yeah um jay farrow he did obama once um what'd you guys say fred emerson yeah he played obama yeah. um who played dick cheney they know he's not a president but whenever they used to do uh george w bush he would sit on a little desk and then on the big desk in the oval office would be dick cheney and and will farrow would just be coloring at the little desk I yeah know, I, I, I had to look that up but they had dean edwards i don't know if y'all remember dean edwards he was a seven up guy yeah um he played colin um colin powell um and um my rudolph paid condoleezza rice remember that yeah and now she's gonna be kamala right yeah, yeah, Kamala, yeah. man. I'm Kamala. learning, dude. I got it right he, earlier. I'm you know, she does a really, she, I, she does a really good you, Kamala. Man. Yeah, I got one for you. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Phil Hartman played Bill Clinton. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, did. Yeah. Yeah, he played Bill Clinton. Um, he did yeah, a great one yeah. where he was discussing the economy inside the McDonald's With after a job. And the warlords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was like. Take a barbecue sauce and put it on an egg McMuffin. Yeah. He's like, let's now, say, let's if I say, take this. <laughs> I remember being like, let's say you're in Somalia and you get a dump of medical supplies. Those chicken nuggets are the medical supplies. <laughs> oh, but I'm a warlord. He comes up just eating everybody's food. Did you guys yeah. ever see when Will Ferrell did the whole special uh, at a theater as George W. Bush? Yep, he did a I whole comedy was, special. Yep. It was yeah. hilarious. Called W, right? Yeah. 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 Um, Daryl Hammond. Daryl mm-hmm. Hammond played um, Dick Yeah. Hammond. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, Daryl Hammond played Dick Cheney, which is a which is a uh, funny character to be, man. So we running up on a minute left, man. So Mike, where you at this weekend, brother? I am at the Leesburg Center for the Performing Arts in Leesburg, Florida. I'm a show with on the show with Kermit Gonzalez, Kevin White. It's uh, through OrlandoComedy.com and Taylor Boyd, who runs Orlando Comedy, just hit me up. Uh, he said, if you go to OrlandoComedy.com, click on the link, you're going to get $10 off each ticket. Tickets yeah. are usually 25 for the show. They're going to be knocked down to 15 and that's this Friday night, 8 o'clock. Should be a okay, good show. Sure. Yeah, it should be. Man. And that's a good room. It's a, Have you done it? I, I, yeah, I did it um, last year. I did it last year. Um, okay. I would say this. I think those little towns like Leesburg... In Ocala, that don't have comedy, mm-hmm. Mount Dora. It, when, they, when Mount Dora, when they have a comedy night that's once a month, people mm-hmm. show up because they don't yeah. have comedy in those cities, man. Like, so yeah. it's a really good room, and I think I saw I saw like twenty five shot glasses. Nice, man. Like twenty five shot glasses. Miguel, you anywhere this weekend, blood? Nah, man. But I want to go see Aries, man. So if you going up there, hit me up. I'll go. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, let I, me know what I, night, I, man. That's right. Yeah. I, I was actually gonna Saturday say night. the same. I was gonna say what do night? the same thing. Saturday, I got a gig Friday, but I want to go yeah. say, hey, I, I want to go see Saturday. Aries, too. Cool. Hang out, man. Be like, hey, we the real live guys. We have, we yeah. have a drink with them. Cool. So, James, you nothing this weekend for you? No, nope, no. Nope, I'm home. I got offered to do a gig, but I'd rather be home. Oh, That's cool. Now, all right, man. Wait, what was that gig? Send it to me, man. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what, real ticket. talk, man. Well, I don't know if Mike said on the show yesterday, but th- shout thanks for Armandale. I had a ball. I had a good time there because ah, Mike was killing when I was there. I was, just Mike was playing, killing out there. I will but, tell you, I try to look out for all of us so we can eat. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. Even though everybody in there probably owned slaves at once. But hey, thank y'all so much for listening to Real Labs. We will be back next week. As we always say, thank you for coming out. God bless you and good night. Good night. <laughs>